What kind of trash are you? This is one of 2019's viral memes in China. It comes from daily conversations between Shanghai's waste sorting volunteers and local residents. The full context here is, what kind of trash are you bringing in? In Shanghai, just 12 days volume of waste would fill the Oriental Pearl Tower. The average Chinese generates 1.2 kilos of garbage per day, a number that has been increasing by 10% every year. Under siege by so much garbage, China launched a massive new recycling campaign. How does such an enormous amount get sorted? And how can it be recycled into something useful? Incineration is the most common way to deal with trash, but it is crucial to separate dry and wet waste in the first stage, or else incineration will not be efficient, likely resulting in harmful byproducts. Shanghai pioneered the idea of waste sorting on July 1, 2019, when it adopted four classifications – dry, wet, recyclable, and hazardous waste. Tens of thousands of volunteers assist residents with waste sorting. Smart garbage bins and mobile apps are also used in the process. By the end of September, Shanghai had built 12,100 recycling stations, renovated more than 21,000 sorting sites, and updated 4,689 garbage trucks. The capacity for incineration and biomass has risen to 24,350 tons per day. Since the launch of Shanghai's waste sorting system, other cities have been joining the team. In Xiamen, large items are sorted at its miscellaneous waste processing center. In Beijing, citizens can scan QR codes to obtain trash bags and find the correct place to drop their garbage. In Hangzhou, digital monitoring and big data play important roles in refining the sorting process. By the end of 2020, 46 major cities are expected to have established waste sorting and processing systems. After initial sorting, monitoring of garbage trucks has been improved during the transportation stage to eliminate mixed loads in cities like Shanghai. For the last stage, hazardous waste is transported to specialized facilities to be rendered harmless. Recyclables are turned into new products. For example, scrap metal from cars can be made into wire and ball bearings. In 2018, Beijing repurposed more than 30 million tons of construction waste, utilizing it for public projects like paving roads and city landscaping. After undergoing decomposition, wet waste is used to generate methane. Similarly, dry waste can be processed to generate electricity. Good example is Laogang Waste Incineration Plant in Shanghai. As the world's largest plant, it deals with 3 million tons of household waste every year, generating nearly 1.5 billion kilowatt hours of energy. The trend toward waste sorting has also arrived in rural areas. In 2018, more than 80% of villages dealt with their household waste effectively. Waste is a misplaced resource. In the future, China will implement waste sorting in more places. Recyclables will be reused to cut pollution to a minimum and promote efficient economic growth. <laughs>